Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2317, Unique on a Rectangular Range. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Gillen. Uh, unique is one of the great new functions in Excel, but we ran into a problem where Unique just doesn't do what we're looking for. Uh, and I'm trying to get the unique of all of these values here. And when I enter Unique, uh, what it's doing is it's, it's giving me Unique rows, right? So I'm getting exactly the original data that I wanted when I really want this cherry, dill, fig, iceberg, kiwi, and orange. And you know, the only way that this is going to reduce our values is if, if we had three rows or two or three or five rows that were exactly the same, see, then those rows get taken out. Not at all what I want. In order for this to work, I first have to unwind the data into a single column. And that's the problem. This was copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, or I guess formula, 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 formula. But if this grows, yeah, that's not going to work. All right, so here's my solution to this. And my solution is going to build on uh, my friend Ingeborg, who's an Excel MVP. And Ingeborg very uh, smartly realized that the text join function for that range will unwind the range into a single row of data like that. All right. And then I'm going to jump into a formula that I've known since 2006 to separate that data at the comma into individual words. It got better now because I can just say the sequence from 1 to 48 and it all works. All right. Once I have that formula, then I use the unique, the comma true is the second argument that says uh, do it by row instead of by column, transpose that, sort it, and there's my answer. All right. The problem is this formula here. <laughs> I've been using this formula since 2006. What is it? It's 2020 now. Uh, that's 14 years. And until today, I could never explain how the heck it worked. And today, I had to figure out how it worked because it stopped working. All right, the first thing we do is we substitute every comma with 99 spaces. And then uh, the formula says, all right, for the first one, we want 1 times 99 minus 1 for 99. And so it says basically the mid of of that long cell starting at 1 going for 99 and you see what happens is the word keeps moving over and then we send that into the trim function all right so there's the trim now hey shout out here i first found this formula back in 2006 at fairwinds at the mr excel message board right it's one of those formulas they're like whoa and i tucked it away i could never understand it until today because you see it breaks Right here, it was all great until we got to iceberg, and then it splits iceberg into two. So I realized, I realized that we would have to adjust that 99 trick, uh, and finally 299, 299, 298, 299. All right, now this is a long, complicated solution, and it all can get reduced down to one formula. The whole thing. The problem that we have is that 299 uh, is going to break when we get to 72 items. And so we go to 399. Ah, uh, but then there's a limit. You can't have more than 32,760 cell seven uh, characters in the result of a formula. So somewhere between 72 and 90 items, this whole thing is going to fall apart. This is another user voice idea. If they would add a split formula, we wouldn't have to use these rogue methods. Uh, check down there in the YouTube description for this link and give us a vote. So back to the drawing board, I kept saying, is there some way that I could on the fly get these things to unwind into a stack, a vertical stack of four columns, and then I can send that into unique. But everything I tried, well, obviously that's not going to work because unique is expecting uh, everything to be in the first argument. So then I tried the concatenation and that that didn't do it at all. And then this awesome thing here with choose uh, one, two, three, four, uh, and then you know, trying to choose the right ones, but it's not concatenating them together. And this is actually the point right here. I hope that one of my incredibly smart viewers who always down in the YouTube comments have a better way to do it right here. I'm hoping that someone will jump in and give me an awesome, awesome solution of how to take these four items and stack them together easily with a formula. Uh, you know, go. All right. Now, last Monday, I talked about this great new add-in from Charles Williams, version 4 of Fast Excel Speed Tools. And I'm going to admit, 
I am a fast Excel fanboy, right? I love these new functions. I wish that Joe McDade would give us these functions in Excel. I have these tools. And I said, hmm, I wonder if I can do this. All right, so the sort of the unique of V stack and then slices, 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 slices. I haven't shown these on the podcast before. Let me just take 30 seconds here. Uh, slices is a great little function that says take that array A1 to D12. I want the entire row. I'm sorry, I want the entire column, so that zero says it's not a particular row, I want all of the rows, and then 04 is 1, and then 2, and then 3, and then 4, right? So slices will take a slice, either vertical or horizontal, from an array. Beautiful. And then, this is exactly what I was looking for on the last worksheet, V stack, vertical stack. Take those four and stack them vertically. From there, you know, it's, it's a walk in the park, a unique uh, sort, and we're done, all right? So... If you have fast Excel or if Joe McDade ever gives us this, then it'll work. But I don't like that I have to say this, comma this, comma this, comma this. I'd really love for VStack to be able to allow me to say I want one, two, three, four. Doesn't work. It gives an answer, not the answer I wanted. Or another fast Excel trick here uh, is a function called unpivot. Unpivot. You know, we can do unpivot in Power Query. Well, Charles wrote an unpivot that just goes in Excel. The hassle is I'm completely cheating because for the unpivot to work, I had to point to a row of headers that aren't there and a row of uh, column labels that aren't there. So I had to insert this extra row and column for this to work at all. Uh, once I do the unpivot, it's the third column that I want. So that slices, comma, comma, three, and then unique, and then sort, uh, and, and that works. All right, so this whole conversation was happening between several Excel MVPs, and when I showed this one to Charles, he's like, well, okay, clever, thanks, Charles, um, but I actually have a function in Fast Excel version 3 uh, that will do this called list to stinks, uh, and here in the fourth argument, by rows, if you specify false, it does it by individual cells and items and gives us exactly what we want. Kudos to Charles Williams, clearly the shortest formula, if you own fast Excel, or if Joe McDade ever gives us this. Now, on the opposite end of the spectrum, and Liam, uh, Liam Bastic is my favorite, funniest Excel MVP. He was actually just being uh, a joker when he said in this horrible form. He's like, I don't know why you all think this is so hard. Uh, just type this, and then uh, you're going to have a headache. See, but that does it as well. Never going to work. All right, Brad. Well, no, it is going to work, but no one's ever going to remember it. And I can't tell you how it works because I'm not going to take the time to figure out how it works. All right, Brad Yunt. If you uh, follow Quora, the Excel questions on Quora, Brad uh, is always answering Excel questions out there. Every once in a while, I'll answer an Excel question out on Quora. And 10% uh, of the time, Brad comes along and says, well, with all due respect to my friend Bill Jellin, here's a way that's 10,000 times shorter than, than his way. It happened to me just last week. Uh, so Brad says, hey, you know, if we ha just had a split function uh, that could take Ingeborg's uh, comma delimited text join and break it apart, that would solve it. And he said, you could write your own UDF, user defined function in VBA, uh, three lines, three lines of code. How cool is that? Uh, and then use the splitter of the text join, send that into transpose because text join, of course, is going across and then uh, unique and that solution works as well. Uh, while I love all these solutions and I love all of my Excel MVP friends, it shouldn't be this hard, right? So I went out to excel.uservoice.com uh, yesterday and wrote up a new idea. I'm surprised no one's asked for this. Allow unique to operate on a rectangular range, returning all unique values. I just created it as one vote. Please click down in the YouTube description this link right here. I uh, can go give me a vote. Uh, you know, it'd be a nice thing to be able to do. So, unless, of course, someone comes through with something easier. Now, usually I tell you to buy this book because the solution's in this book, but the solution's not in this book. This question just came up. But the people that came up with the solution, yeah, they're in this book. Uh, so, go check out the book Excel Insights, a, a guide to uh, the best parts of Excel by 24 Excel MVPs. Click that I in the top right hand corner. And hey, if you enjoy videos like this, trying to solve these weird Excel problems, please subscribe and ring that bell. Feel free to post any questions or comments down in the comments below. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.